Well, of course, my belief was I could never be an artist because in seventh grade I got a C in art, which kept me off the honor roll. So I didn't like art too much after that. But I always wrote, and particularly wrote poetry. And because it's a, it's a painting with kind of a rough surface, I start out putting the paint on with a brush just because I, it's very hard to start out doing it with a, um, with a uh, palette knife. And just try to, just try to cover some of this old stuff up. So. The thing about the paint I hadn't realized was it's this whole uh, tactile, sensual um, thing when you're putting paint on a canvas and there's these beautiful colors and unlike writing, particularly poetry, you can have music, you know, and you can kind of dance around a little bit as you're painting and you're moving back and forth. color very much. I tend to use the paint directly out of the tubes and the color is very visceral. So you really, um, it's almost like you, you taste or you feel the color. So when you begin to see the color take shapes as well, you've got not only the color but then you're kind of creating energy out of these shapes. And it helps pick up some of the, you know, this feel of the orange up in here. It's just probably six or eight months ago I started, um, I saw these kind of images of trees with kind of pointy and kind of snaking around and blowing up. And at the same time I discovered teal. So teal is this amazing color, which I'd never used before. And so um, teal became like water. And um, so I had this idea of waterfalls using the teal. A lot of it was trying to create this flow of energy moving through the, the painting. And I think personally, artists are among the most courageous people because in art, if you're gonna do art, you have to follow where it takes you. You can't censor it, and it's scary.